How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a few one-way smokes for Omen. I'm going to be covering every single site and mostly defensive one-way smokes. I'm going to be going into more offensive one-way smokes and different ones that I can find in the next coming weeks, but I'm just not quite ready for that one yet. If you like what I do, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Check out my Twitter and other social medias for different content updates, TikTok for funny videos, things like that. I'll have those links down below. And check out my live stream every Tuesday and Saturday nights. Now, before we get started, I wanted to make sure that you guys remember there are two different ways to throw your Omen Smokes, and there is no right or wrong way. Both ways are completely capable of doing everything, so you don't have to throw either one of these smokes in a particular fashion. Just because I use the newer system rather than the older system doesn't mean that you have to as well, or vice versa. I would also like you to remember that you have a maximum of two smokes at a time, and each smoke lasts for about 12 and a half seconds, but I want you to round that number down to 10, that way you know that you've got time to successfully back away from an angle without having your smoke run out on you. The first one-way smoke I want to show you on Ascent is on the A site, and it's extremely easy to set up from the actual site itself. If you go into your alternate view and look at this little wall that they have to funnel through to come towards A main, you actually just put your smoke right up on top of that wall. Obviously, you can come back out of your alternate view if you want to, throw out the smoke, and you've got this broken little one-way here for if they're trying to funnel into A main onto the site. It's really useful. This is what your one-way smoke looks like while attacking the A site. Obviously, you can't even tell if anybody's pushed up into A main, so you would not have any information on them while they can be seeing and shooting you the entire way. It's really strong and just gives you a good advantage so that you can have a more forward hold on your defensive site for A. The next smoke is great for if the enemy takes control of catwalk and is going to push you through the tree room. You could throw it right on top of this tiny little light on the doorway here. After you do that, you can either hold it from a nice perspective here, or you can take up to higher ground and get an even stronger one way on the angle. This one is going to be unstoppable from up here. This is what that one way smoke looks like from the tree room. As you can tell, they can't see anything on the site, let alone that giant box that you're on up there. So once you start to push up here, you're going to get completely destroyed. While playing from the B site, the boathouse gives you a great opportunity to use your smokes to create one ways. You can make one ways on either side of it as I'll show you, and this is great for either defending or even just holding it away from an enemy during a retake if you're actually playing on offense. All you have to do is line your smoke up right here, and it can be basically anywhere along the edge of this building here. Once you throw your one-way smoke, you can play all the way from in the back here and they'll have no way of having an advantage fight towards you. You're going to have the information and the sight line to hit them before they hit you. This is what it looks like when you get hit by the one-way smoke guarding the back side of the B site. As you can tell, you can't even see half of the site here, let alone the very back side in the boathouse in the rear end of the site. In a similar fashion, if you throw your smoke on top of this wall on the right side of the B site, you can actually just have it sit right on top of the wall or that lamp there, and then anybody pushing up that catwalk area is going to be blinded by it and won't be able to see you defending from the boathouse in the very back side. As you can tell from the attacker's perspective, attacking the B site here is just not even possible. You can't get past this smoke without absolutely being murdered by the people on site defending. It's just way too strong. So the omen smoke covering showers here is going to be placed on top of this little metal rain rafter above the shop window here. You want to line it up pretty much perfectly with this tower on the painting here. So it's easier to do in the old system if you just push it right up to the edge and then look up so that your arrow is up on top. You want to make sure that it's all the way up there, probably about that high there. If you put it too close to the edge, it's still going to fall off. After you throw your smoke, you get it just perfectly lined up there, and you can see you've got a nice little one way through the bottom here. So as you can see from bathroom here, you can't see anything around that box. You'd have to, not even by moving over to this edge can you really see there, honestly. It just completely blocks off your vision. You have to peek towards triple boxes or heaven, which then leaves you open to behind the one way there, and you're just going to get nailed. They're going to rail you. And then of course, the obvious one way smoke that I was talking about before, this one is 
also easily set up in either fashion. You wanna get it just right on the top corner of this box here. This is what it looks like in the old system. And this is of course what it looks like on the new system. You've got your little orb and your arrow right on top of the box. Throw that up there, and then the best place to peek or stick, or stick around for this angle is really close to this wall on the left side of the cubby here next to the box. This gives you the most coverage using your one-way. If you hang out too far around this area, they'll still be able to see you if they hang on that back wall. And I'll show you exactly what I mean now. So this is what that one-way looks like while it's on top of the box. Like I was saying, you don't want to stick around too close to that box in the cubby because they might be able to see the edge of your feet from there. But if you are far enough over to the right from this perspective or the left from there against the wall here, they won't be able to see anything. You're going to see their feet. You're just going to light them up. It'll be really easy. So the one way smoke I have for you on bind, you need to be pushed all the way up to the back edge of the site against the back wall. After that, you just line it up on the edge of this box here and you can throw it out. And this is going to cover a good portion of this little hallway here. So after you throw out the one way, you can see this is what it looks like here. You get a nice little peek on their feet as they're coming through, but you don't have great coverage going towards elbow, and it's not a perfect one way either. Although it's still good to get you an advantage in a fight. Now this is what it looks like from the attacker's POV. As you can see, they'll still be able to tell that your feet are there and notice you a little bit if you're on the right side. Now if you're on the left side, they won't see you at all. Uh, this isn't exactly a perfect one way smoke, obviously, and I do know that and want you to know that ahead of time. But it's going to be great because there's still a lot of positions for them to take into consideration and they have to worry about different things like right around the corner here they have to worry about the elbow and they have to worry about the back right side of the site as well and that little cubby over there so oftentimes you'll be able to get away with using this one-way smoke without being noticed right away just because there's a lot on their mind and it'll still give you an advantage in the fight you'll still see them before they see you so for the A site on Haven, I've got three different one-way smokes for you on defense. Two of them will be guarding short A or sewers, and then one of them will be guarding long A, closer to the site though, not really offensively. Your first one is gonna be right here in sewers, like I was saying before. Bring it about halfway through this nice little open area here and go up to about this height right there. And then you've got this nice little one-way angle here that doesn't look like much from your side, but if you look at it from the enemy perspective, you'll see better. And this is what that smoke looks like from the enemy's perspective. You could tell they can't see anything, not even if they crouch, but you're able to see them pretty clearly from that corner. Now the next two may be pretty obvious, but I'm gonna show them anyways, because not everybody really thinks about these things or knows them too well, or even where to play from while using these one ways. But you're gonna make use of both this corner of the box here, and the corner of the close box here. You'll be able to use either of these depending on which side the enemy's pushing from and play from anywhere like this close angle for short or you could rotate all the way around to the side here if they're pushing up long and you're using that smoke instead. No matter which way you like to set up your smokes, these ones are extremely easy to set up. You just need to get them right here on top of this box and you'll be able to see with your little green arrow that it's gonna sit up there, throw it out, and it's gonna drop there, come right here, and throw this one out right here as well. Whoops, not supposed to move forward, just supposed to throw it out. Both of them will drop on top of their boxes and give you amazing little one ways towards the enemies. I'll show you what these look like from the enemy's perspective now. The one way here on long is extremely debilitating because obviously they can't see through anywhere on that side of the site and they still have to worry about behind the site and in heaven. So it's extremely tough on the enemies to have to worry about this one way smoke. In the exact same notion, you kind of have a lot to worry about too when you're pushing up short or sewers with this one way because you can't see around it. You don't know if somebody's going to be coming from CT, if they're in heaven or on the rest of the site. So the last thing that you're worrying about is, oh, did they mess up the smoke or is there somebody actually hiding behind it and it's a one way. Next up, while defending garage, there's an awesome one way that you throw right here just by putting your smoke on top of this door right here. And this smoke covers the entire doorway. This is impossible for them to push through because it's one of the best smoke setups that you can have for a one way. Now let me show you what that looks like from their perspective. So this is what the one way looks like from their perspective while attacking garage. They can literally see nothing, but while you're there going through here, you can see their feet the entire time. It's so oppressive and there's just no way that they're gonna push through it unless they're already committed 
And in that case, they're screwed and you just get to kill them all. Now, the last one way that I'm going to give you guys on Haven is to defend from C long here. While setting this one up, I just want you to bring it straight forward to about where these horns are here. And then you need to get it right on the edge of the wall. You can see it's right on the edge of this wall here because it actually has to hook on the molding of the wall to stay up in the air. When you throw this one-way smoke, it covers all the way across and gives you a great little angle to look at them while coming up either side of the long angle on C. Now, if you're attacking C, you can tell that you're totally screwed and can't see on top of that box at all, but they can still see your feet. Okay, so taking a look at split, I've got two one-way smokes for you on the A site and one more over on the B site. If you're up here in heaven, I want you to just bring out your smoke and shoot it right up forward to this line right here. And then you need to get it up on top. It's a little bit easier in my opinion with this newer form. But you can get it right up there. And if you see, it's going to have the little black bar inside of the bar there. And that's going to show that it's going to sit inside that spot and stay there. Once you get the smoke lined up correctly, it's going to hang on the top of that doorway there, and you'll be able to see people as they try and walk through here to take control of heaven. Since you're up at a higher angle, they won't be able to see you, and you can just lay them down. Now this is what your smoke looks like while attacking heaven. As you can see, the only part of heaven that you can see is the back right side. So anybody playing up on the boxes up here is completely hidden, even if you're crouching. The next spot that I have for you is an extremely passive spot from the A site. This is going to mainly be helpful if you got pushed off of your angle and you're defending from the site. You could set this up to get a nice advantage on anybody coming to take over control of the site and try and get the bomb planted. If you look right here, you can throw it right on top of this little ledge here and it'll give you a good shot on anybody entering the site. Just like that, now you can see anybody entering the site here and just kill them before they get anything done and they won't be able to see you through this. So this is what your one way is gonna look like while attacking the site. As you can see here, if you're pushed all the way back up in the corner, they won't be able to see you right away, not until they get to this point right here, but you'll be able to see them this entire time. So the smoke on the B site of Split is the exact same as the one that you'd use on Cypher playing from this location. You want to get your smoke lined up to the center of this walkway and then aim just a little ways up until it catches right there. It's going to catch onto the edge of the roofing there for them. You throw it out and it's going to hook on so that it will float there. It looks like it's really high up in the air, but their heads are going to be inside of it. So if you're playing from the rafters position here, you're going to have a great one way smoke. Now this is what your B-Site one way looks like from the attacker's perspective. As you can tell, moving in here, you can't see anything until you're all the way out onto the site. And they'll be able to see you all the way from about this point right here. So they have plenty of time to react as a defender and just take out the attackers coming in. Thank you guys so much for watching my Omen one way smoke tutorial. I hope these give you a great advantage in your ranked games and you guys can really gain some elo. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below and check out some of my other content. I'll see you guys around.